Okay, so Quavo is wait, Quavo um, is Takeoff's uncle. Is that yeah. really true? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's How'd that right. happen? You guys are cousins. Yeah. What do you mean? What a talent! Y'all look like y'all the same age. You better have my mama or something. Have my mama. Let me have it happen. <laughs> take off. You had no choice but to get rich. Your last name Ball for real? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever yeah. want to use that as your rap name? Nah. Nah. So what are these family reunions like? When you guys have like a family reunion, being that you guys are all really... Do y'all have it's, family? It, 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 for us, it's, it, our immediate family so deep. Mm-hmm. That's We just do like the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Cause it's, it's a lot of us between us three. Mm-hmm. You know how I go with the immediate family. We really don't do the family reunions like that. I'm sure y'all be running into relatives all the time. Like you know, my cousin take off and. The- <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> <little lady>. Everybody knows. <laughs> <little lady. laughs> <Now, now, laughs> how, how much did the price go up after Donald Glover hit shot of y'all out at the Golden Globe? <laughs> About 150 <laughs> percent. But that song was headed to number one already, anyway. Did yeah, it was it? number two on the chart before right. it went number one, and um, it was already on the way. When y'all recorded but, that song, did y'all know? Did y'all have any idea? No. No, it immediately. Knew when, that I, was it. when he brought it, when I said brought it to me and played it, we was on the road. Fire. And he played it on the on the sprinter. And as soon as I played, I played about like five, six times. It was just his hook and the verse. And I had to come back home and get on the A side because it was too crazy. Well, ooh, now, ooh, were ooh. you in a drop top and it started raining or something off that? <laughs> like, I, no, I was at the house. I was just recording. Just, and I heard that beat. See that that part when I do the woo woo? When I do that part, I, I said that because. When I was about to record my verse, when I heard the song, when I when when the beat dropped, I didn't know what to say. That was just came out like originally, and I was like, "Ooh!" I paused and I was like, "Man, this beat so hard." But then when I played it back and I heard it, I said, "Oh, no, I'm finna keep that." So yeah. Why'd y'all put Uzi on it? Uh, it just, that particular one. It just happened. We was at the yo, and um, he had asked me the first time I played it for him, and I had it. I had the session that time with my engineer. He was like, "Man, I'm getting on it." Uzi heard that. He about. knew what it was. He was like, "I'm getting on this one." Cause you you not on it, right? Take off. Nah, you know. Why you, how you why you missed it? Hey man, you know. We be working, man. It's, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Be busy, man. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you, you still get the check though. Hey, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got something coming though. Surprise. Mm-hmm. So the man. album is about to come out. I know you guys are busy running around all crazy. So who's the one that's always late? Shit. Shit, we might just pull a little late. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um I can't, we, I don't put it on nobody. Because if I'm late, we all got to wait. If he late, we all got to wait. We all pull up late. So it is what it is. When we pull up, but when we pull up, we in the building. You now, did. Look, now, the name of the album is Culture. Culture Why Way. Name Culture. Yeah. Because we need, we need the world to respect us. Um, they, they, they consume a lot of hits and just act like it wasn't. I, I ain't never seen nobody make these many hits and not get notified for it and, and change the game the way we did and bring the flow to the game the way we did and not get, you know what I'm saying, noticed for it like the big way. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the real system way. So I feel like us coming out saying the culture, it, it just made everybody look and be like, man, what these young <laughs> talking about? And then at the same time we write, but then, you know what I'm saying, it's some it's some boldness on it. So I feel like we can just we we just stand on our toes and mm-hmm. we the culture we brought so much to the game. I think I think one reason y'all don't get the recognition is because y'all a group though. You gotta respect. And they ain't a group in a minute. But you gotta you gotta, you gotta understand all the hip hop came from groups. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists came out of groups, so you can't. Which which again, like how how can people get lost on just a solo artist? And then when when you're a solo artist, you got a whole team behind you anyway. So it should be some recognition when you're a solo artist. Period. Now, it ain't, I, I, it ain't just like you just doing your I, own thing. I think that a lot of the people didn't respect it at first. They 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 considered it. They didn't consider it that. What, what am I the word I'm looking for? They considered it not mumble rap, but yeah, like they don't, that, that real hip hop shit. That's that real hip hop. Y'all get that a lot. I think it's not saying, real. I think they were saying the mumbling because the flow was so advanced. They really weren't with it. They understand. When we first came, I don't think we ever got caught up in the mumble rap though. Yeah, ain't nobody. I ain't. I ain't. I I don't think nobody ever said Migos was a mumble rapper because you can really hear everything we're saying. Mm -hmm. Dead serious. No, that's true because I don't try to use one of your words on Scrabble. What what word? Discriminize. (laughs) Yeah. Discriminize. D e s c r i m i n i z e. Anyway, it would be D i s. Well, I tried it. Discriminate. <laughs> anyway, so. And y'all did a, y'all did a, a children's reading. Yeah. 
What made y'all yeah. do that? Was that that Josie? was a radio interview? Oh, that was a radio mama, interview. Mama. Okay, I heard that. I was like, was that a children's book that they really did? No, yeah. mama's a gun. Not for nothing. My kids will learn better like that. <laughs> yeah. Ain't a llama just, a gun? Just cut, just cut on that um bad and bougie beat and read that that nursery rhyme book. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's an actual book. Yeah, it's yeah, called Llama book. Llama Red Pajama. Yeah. Now mama, to be mama. on the show at Atlanta, where you guys are already cool with Donald Glover. Yeah, uh, he reached out to us to to, uh, to get on the show. We thought it was a great idea mm-hmm. to do it, and we did. We killed it. Yeah, that we. By the way, that show is incredible. I'm sure y'all been watching all of those. Oh yeah, episodes. I watched all the episodes. It's crazy. Does that mean more acting coming up soon? On the way. Most yeah. definitely. Got to. I like it. <laughs> now, y'all, y'all holding a coaching class at NYU this weekend? I heard. Yeah, man, yeah, we got to put them up on the Migo Lingo. Put them up on game. So what's some of these things going on in this syllabus in this class? Because I was just reading about Solange, and she's trying to do a syllabus for a course on a seat at the table. So what is the Migos teaching? Like, what are some of the things that we're going to learn if we were students in this class at NYU? You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach you how to cook. Whip, whip. <laughs> cook what? You know what I'm saying? We're going to teach you how to pick up the phone. <laughs> and and, and we, we're, we're going to always teach you to never go outside. Never. Yeah. And the ladies in the class going to stay bad and bougie. And the fellas gonna be hustlers. Does it ever surprise you that people all over the world have embraced y'all culture? Three dudes from Atlanta. I seen y'all in Nigeria rocking. Oh yeah, it feel it's good. Blessing. It feel good. It feel real good. I, I think that we can adapt to any weather. So you just put us put us anywhere, we'll come out victorious. Especially because the South used to get hated on so much everywhere outside of the South. Most they definitely. Be better though, because when you prove, they can't say nothing. We number one, dog. Right now. What's happening? What you got to say? Numbers don't lie. Now, you yeah. keeping out of trouble, Offset? Yeah, I'm staying up out of that trouble. Who, do, you, do you have like a chaperone, somebody just to be like, all right, Offset, no, don't focused. jump off the stage and punch the person? No, I'm just focused. You know, I was young and I I, I can't, I ain't had no discipline coming out of jail. So I still was on a lot of the wrong path. You feel what I'm saying? I was getting a lot of paper. I ain't never, I'm good now, though. Discipline. I'm straight. Cool. I, cool. Want, I want to ask you, with your, your records being so big in the strip clubs, right? And they book you for a strip club. Y'all gotta spend your own money? Because <laughs> Fat Joe used to hate working in the strip club because he'd have to spend his own money when Megan Rand came no, out. Like last night, y'all just strip club. Y'all gotta spend the money y'all making, or y'all just say, "Nah, I ain't spending no money." Cause now the strippers look at you crazy if you don't spend no money. You first, we, we, you charge mm-hmm. the bag, then you throw the bag. It's just a player thing to do. We, we, we just show them. The you money. Gotta, gotta show the strippers love. Mm-hmm. So whatever you get, yeah. get the bag, you get paid. You throw. They working it. just like y'all working, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they gotta yeah. get paid too. Yeah, yeah. Now, I saw you guys at the Agenda Trade Show the other day. Me and Envy were in there doing uh, Juices for Life. Got their own clothing line. Yeah, we saw the um, clothing line, and it was a big commotion when you guys all walked in. Yeah, man, Young Rich Nation, the clothing line. Yeah, so that how, way. How is it when y'all go places like to the mall and everything? Is it not possible anymore? Nah, it's just, we walk through the mall, it'd be like 100 deep, with a whole bunch of people behind us. We're on, we're on trip, it, it's just like, it, it's fun. We we feel like it's fun. I, Sometimes I go to the mall just to f*** it up for real. <laughs> hey, did you did you sign the good music, Quavo? No. Nah. It was a rumor that Kanye was going to executive produce your solo album or something like that. No. Nah, I wish that that could happen. He could produce my second album, but it's cool. <laughs> he ain't doing that. Oh. Is everybody doing solo albums? We working. We all now work that this album's you. out, are we working on solo albums? Hey man, we, we got this culture, culture album. Shit. Just dropped. That's what we got right now. We okay, that, we'll make that go number one. Yeah. Now, last time Drama was here, Quavo, I saw you tweeting at him. You had some words for him. Yeah, man. I just had to let him know, man. We the culture. You can't speak on Spend it without it. having amigos in it. So I think he mentioned Atlanta and how Atlanta's popping. But he mentioned a lot of artists. He ain't say the amigos. Yeah. yeah, and that that's that's one of the main parts about this album too. That I mean, the title of this album, it was just too much going on. It's like too many people going crazy and it was just too many heads spinning. Like we had to control. I feel like we, we coming in this, we coming in the era right now, we coming in the game and in the time to control what we started and control the culture. Now how do you how do you stay out of the way of, 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 of beef? Cause, Cause Soldier Boy has some words for you. That n- okay. Stack and pray and stay out of the way. You getting a real bad man. We ain't hurting over there. I think then he apologized again and then say, "Man, I can't keep up with that." I was, I was confused. We just be hurting, man. We ain't hurting anyway. We good. We get money for real, and we gonna keep getting it. Having this shit for real, man. Now, how y'all gonna return the favor to Donald Glover? Y'all sent him anything? Oh yeah, we we trying to we, we working on. 